morning, everyone. Normally at this time I would be at work, but uh, my work is shutting down for two weeks because there was a COVID case. I work at a childcare center and uh, my boss made the wise decision to shut down for two weeks. It's just so sad that a two-year-old child got COVID, not a child in my class, in a different class. But this does give me uh, more time to do crafting as I usually do my crafting on the weekends. Um, so what did I wanted to show you? Uh, I haven't been talking in most of my videos. Uh, so I decided today I would for this one. So this is my crafting station right now. It's kind of an organized uh, mess. So usually when I'm doing my videos, I like to take everything out that I think that I'm possibly going to use. It doesn't mean I'm going to use all this stuff. But I like to lay everything out, and then that's when uh, my creativity uh, starts to flow. So I'm going to show you some things that I have. I'm actually really upset uh, that I'm not allowed to buy uh, craft items at the dollar store. I mean, they don't uh, deem them as essential, but as an, someone who really likes to craft or, you know... Um, for example, if children are at home uh, and parents want to do crafts with them, I see that as essential because I've had to order stuff on Amazon and it's significantly more expensive. Uh, so the dollar store is just really affordable. And most of the stuff I have here is from the dollar store and they have really good uh, stuff. So luckily I had stocked up on a lot of stuff before uh, the lockdown. But uh, um, yeah, let me show you some stuff I have. Some stuff here, as you can see, is not on the dollar store. I always keep uh, recycled items. So this is a paper towel roll. This is uh, from one of my lunches <laughs> that I had. So I kept the box. Uh, these are some of my, f one of my favorites. These are just like little wooden pieces I got from the dollar store. Um... What else do I have here? Here's another recycled item that I had bought in some headphones. I kept the box. Uh, muffin cupcake wrappers. I like these like checkered ones. I've used them for some of my uh, decor items I've made. Uh, my popsicle sticks, I like to keep them in a, all of them in a Ziploc bag because I've bought them so many. Um, what else? Pom-poms. Feathers, straws, uh, glue gun, sticks. These markers I actually haven't tried yet, but uh, they're textile markers. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else do I have here in my basket of goods? Uh, this is just like kind of decorative paper. I used it for one of the crafts I did uh, for my class. Stencils. These are cool. Um, these little uh, bottles with a cork, and then there's a. You can write a little note inside. It's actually a cute, like, little gift that you can give to somebody. I have a bunch of them still in here. This is, I use as, like, pretend uh, grass when I'm doing activities, crafts. Um. More like decorative construction paper. Um, two artist canvas, metallic sheets, more construction paper. Um, Velcro. Glue. And that's pretty much everything I have right now. I actually had a lot more stuff, but because... Uh, and I craft on the weekends, so I've been using up a lot of stuff. One of my favorite uh, things to use is uh, wooden pegs or clothespins. I've been using them a lot for my crafts and uh, really adds a nice uh, touch. Actually, one of my here, which is the napkin holder. See, I used the uh, clothespin right there. And then what I did was these magnet strips, which I've also gotten from the dollar store. I clicked them put them on, then I can put magnets on here. It's a nice little touch. And these are the wooden pieces, which in my box, you can see I painted them. 
This is in one of my other videos, this napkin holder here. So I actually haven't decided uh, yet what I'm going to be making. Um, when I do my videos, like obviously when I post them, then I know what uh, the product or item or craft it is that I'm making. But um, when I usually start my videos, I don't actually always know in advance. Uh, like I said, I kind of lay out all my stuff and then the ideas kind of flow and then I decide what I'm going to make. I've had a, a couple ideas um, what I'm going to do. I was thinking maybe of making a uh, candle holder out of um, items that I have. Um, but then sometimes when I'm working on one thing and then I come up with another idea, this is what happened last weekend and I ended up making a bunch of things different items but um i really hope that the uh dollar store non-essential items open up opens up soon because i just had to order uh wooden pegs uh wooden slices um and like craft rope and it was more than i wanted to pay so um i'm hoping by like end of may maybe maybe a little bit sooner uh, things start to open up, then COVID cases are going down, uh, now over the past couple days for here in, uh, Ontario, Canada. I'm in, uh, Vaughan, Ontario. So, uh, fingers crossed that, uh, the craft items become available because I don't want to continue buying stuff, uh, craft items specifically on Amazon because it is just getting a little too expensive. Okay, so now um, I decided what I'm going to make. Originally I was thinking a candle holder, but now I completely changed my mind. See, as I told you, I always have one idea and then sometimes I change. Um, I'm going to make a watch holder out of uh, some recycled items and obviously whatever I have gathered here my craft items so uh, I'm hoping it turns out how I'm planning to sometimes when I'm doing crafts they don't turn out exactly as I had anticipated now that I've been doing more crafts everything's been turning out actually uh, very well but um, I'm thinking this will turn out uh, pretty good fingers crossed uh, so I hope you guys enjoy uh, this craft and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and to like and also feel free to comment on the uh, video. So as you can see I actually only have two watches. I did order uh, another one. It's another wood one similar to this one. Um, it's from a company called Tree Hut. I'm really looking forward to the, getting that one. Um, I'm the type of person that likes to wear watches. I know most people probably just check their phones for the time, but because um, I'm not allowed to be on my phone uh, at work, because I work with children in a childcare center, um, I like to have the watch on me, especially if we're uh, outside, even though um, we do use an iPad and a phone uh, at work uh, because we uh, use a childcare uh, software. But... Uh, for me personally, I always do like to wear a watch, check the time, and uh, it's more of a fashionable thing for me too, as I'm into uh, fashion a bit. But um, anyways, I will have uh, three watches once uh, the other one comes, and uh, I actually do have some more uh, watches at my parents' house. Um, I moved out in uh, January. Um, I left them there because uh, my mom tried changing the batteries, but uh, she's having trouble putting the back on it. Uh, usually, um, when that does happen to her, and she usually does change them, and it's fine, but uh, she's not able to put the back on, so she usually goes uh, to get that done. But obviously, with COVID right now, these uh, watch places are not open, so we're gonna have to wait uh, till uh, those types of businesses open back up again which hopefully it won't be too much longer all right so now we're going to continue with the uh diy watch holder so just wanted to show you um sorry just hold on the glue gun there um i had to um 
change the box a bit because before it would open up from the side so I had to uh, glue some parts here and then I cut over here to make a flap here because um, I want it to open like this. I'm not afraid.